Oh, greatness. Hear ye, hear ye, it's the Twin Kings in the building, and you're tuning in live to the Only Touch Greatness podcast. Let's go. So, more in Brooklyn, <laughs> the, the stats that I got, um, what well, tell us about childhood and how you first got into music. Yeah, man, uh, I mean, uh, this, this, this story is it's been proven over time. Um, we was actually born out here in Maryland, uh, but we was raised in Brooklyn, New York. Um, we spent most of our, uh, our, our uh, most of our life in New York. Um, so that that's home for us. Uh, but we also represent the DMV. Um, how we got started, um, it actually started in the cypher up, up in uh, when we was nine years old, up in uh, uh, Soundview Park up in, uh, in the Bronx. So um, I let Twin kind of get more to the details. But realistically, man, we just our cousin uh, we was going to the park to play ball. You know, New York is known for hooping. So we went down to the uh, the court to go hoop, and uh, on the way there, our cousin had um there was there was, there was this guys on the corner they were just beatboxing and freestyling, and you know being a nine year old kid, that was like my first time really kind of seeing that that type of environment. Really, like people just randomly don't even know each other, just stopping and just kicking a few bars. My cousin actually started rapping, and he the way he was flowing on the spot, everything that was happening right there at that moment, he was rapping about, and I was captivated. Twin was captivated with it. We went to the park, play ball, whatever, but we were so casual. We kept asking the question, like, how you do that? How you do that? How you do that? And then we, we got back home that night, and he showed us how to formulate our first rhyme. And since then, man, we been writing ever since, ever since we was nine years old. Thanks. Yeah, and uh, I, I've heard, obviously I know of Soundview because it was in the Lord Tariq Peter Guns uh, Uptown Uptown yeah. Baby. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy because uh, I had to go back and ask my cousin, like, yo, what park was that that we went to or whatever? Because we had forgot. We kids. We just we just walk into the store following him and tagging along or whatever the case may be. But his girl was like, yo, we, we're going to go play ball because I guess he had like some tournament or something out there or whatever. And I was like, bet, say less. So we was, we was on our way to the court. You know what I'm saying? And we just happened to end up at the park. And then we saw that and was like, yo, that, I was so inspired. Wow. The, it didn't happen exactly at the park. It was on the way to the park. Yeah. So... You know what I'm saying? It was at like a corner store or something. And like, you know, like it's good to see like, you know, black people, especially in that type of environment and Puerto Ricans and Dominicans. And they all like getting together and they just, you know, what I'm saying trading bars and freestyling and stuff like that. You like you seeing that you like, oh, shit, are you thinking people outside fighting and shit? But they're not really fighting. They just reacting to what somebody is saying. So I was like, nah, I got to I got to, you know, what I'm saying I, I, I just fell in love immediately. Especially how my cousin just jumped in as soon as there was like a small break in the verse, he just jumped in, and we just sitting there as kids looking at that Marvel and like, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember uh, we got back to the house after after playing ball in the park, and um, I remember us getting going back to the house, and uh, you know what I'm saying? We didn't have no pieces of paper or nothing. We all we had was a uh, napkin, uh, a napkin. <laughs> yeah, we got a, a pen, a pen, a pen, and a napkin. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Oh yeah, 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 yeah! I was doing the real, real raw with it. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what you yeah. know. You know, you you passionate. You, know, <laughs> you got to get that. You got to get that napkin. You got to write your lyrics down yeah. so you won't forget. I can't forget it. You know what I'm saying? It's funny because right. uh, we can never forget our first rhyme. I still know my first rhyme. Twin still know his first rhyme. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, I mean, that's a, that's a thing. That's that's always a good thing, right? Whenever you can remember your first rhyme, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's that's like how you know the writers are. That's how you know the real writers are. Actually, yeah, coming. right. You know what the real writers are because at the end of the day, because when you spit those first verses, you know what I'm saying, out off of the first thing that you ever wrote, yep. and you actually show it to somebody, and they see they see the you know what I'm saying the yes. um. What you they see the talent that you got, you know what I'm saying? Right. They are intrigued by. It. They be like, "Oh man, you got some shit." Because you know, people people that you know, you know what I'm saying, that you love and you you show it to. At the end of the day, they gonna tell you like, "Hey man, you might have something." You know what yeah, I mean? Right. To kick off, right. you know what I mean? So right. I totally right. understand that. And and coming, you know, from Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying. I mean, look, you got Big Daddy Kane. Mm. You know what I'm saying. R.P. O.D.B. Dirt McGirt, you know yeah, what I'm saying, me, and you got the, you know what I'm saying, you got the Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying, the Brooklyn Dodgers, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to Master Bad. Ace, like, Bad. yo. So how is it like, just you know, coming out of Brooklyn and having that huge branch, you mm. know, huge historic legends, 
You know what I mean? Who was one of your artists, you know what I'm saying, from Brooklyn that really inspired y'all? Oh, man. Oh, man. So freaking many. Uh, I would say, <laughs> to be honest with you, that 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 one guy that kind of, um, I guess, captivated me in a way. Um, oh, so I don't even know who you're going to say. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Who you think I'm going to say, Twit? Move the hustle and trigger the gambler. And, uh, <laughs> the hey, uh, oh, a lot of people don't even know who smooth the hustle and trigger the gambler are. You know what I'm saying? But okay. those guys, um, their their style of rap, how hype oh, they were, the yeah. bars that they would okay. come up with, yeah. the back and forth punches, and the just the creativity behind it. I used to bump them every oh, fucking. Yeah. Hey, I probably, to be honest with you, even when I come across these songs now, I still know them word for word, bar for bar, and I still get like that, that, ooh, this, that, this, that feel I like. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say that's my artist that I would say, but I mean, you know, it's just so many, you know what I mean? So. Right, right. I was about to say, well, like, well, and this on top of your head, what song that, you know, would be like out of that catalog that you'd be like out of their, out of their songs that you, you always run to and you can oh, remember. Fuck what you heard. Fuck what you heard, yeah. dog. Shit. That's <laughs> shit. Fuck what you heard. What's, what you Fire heard, here, bro? That shit was speak the Brooklyn. Hell uh, yeah. That's gotta, gotta be all the way. I thought he was bigger than Jay at the time, for sure. Like, hey, it was fucking large, yeah. bro. That shit, that fuck what you heard shit was fire, dog. I'm not yeah, going to hold you. Oh, I can't forget Jake too, man. You like, know, you know, y'all got y'all got so many legends. You yeah. got Biggie, yeah. you got Jay, you got, you know, you got fucking come on, we could go Busta. on and on. Yeah. Busta. Oh, yeah, can't forget Buster Bus. I I love I yeah, like Busta, all day. Yeah, like Buster was like because we grew up in flat in East Flatbush, you know what I'm saying? He was oh, like yeah. the god in East Flatbush. So like yeah. I'm saying everybody looked up the bus, like it was different. Like Whew. You know what I'm saying? Especially like the the only like West Indian nigga representing like, you know what I'm saying? Where we come from, me and my tour brother, we from Grenada and Trinity, you know what I'm saying? With those roots and ties. So like he was the only like artist that was implementing that and, and create and bringing that energy to the scene. It was different. It was different. Yeah, right. you know? Like salute. salute right. the, like I know Twin said smooth the hustle and trigger the gambler. Absolutely. Especially Brownsville. Like, hell yeah. But like Ooh. um Brownsville. Buster, Buster for real though. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah, bust the bus. I mean, we we got a chance to talk to um Keith Murray, man, and he got to talking about um flip mode meets death squad. And I was like, yeah, that was fire. That was you fire. know what I'm saying? And because every time I remember going back to to um Keith Murray's part, and then when fucking Buster just fucking because you know Buster got that energy that yeah, when he man. says I'm gonna beat you with the Holy Cross, like you, you can mm. tell when he you can feel it, you know what I'm saying? You can feel the, you know what I'm saying? Like oh shit, he for real, you know what I'm saying? But it's hype because he you're like oh shit, this this dope shit. Favorite, yeah, yeah. favorite Buster, hey favorite Buster song. Favorite Buster song. Buster song. Oh, put your hands on my Oscar seat without question. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That same shit. Put your hands on my Oscar seat, man. Because that, that right there, man. I like, like, the place to be. Yeah. yeah. Like, really, uh, really, uh, really, uh, that's just my like, shit. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. The video and all that. You know, you know you know what's so crazy, too? You know what's so crazy, too? Is that the whole time, the nigga was fucking Spliff Star. I was like, damn, I didn't even know that was Flip Star. <laughs> no facts. Yeah, no yeah. Facts. it is crazy. So, <laughs> really? it, I mean, of course, I mean, of course, everybody's going like, if you're going to say influence for Brooklyn, like, everybody's going to say Biggie, but there's so many other niggas that was dope as yeah. fuck. Yeah, 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 I got a lot. And it's like, it was like, it was like one of those barrels where it's like, yo, you, you can't, you can't not come and rap. Like, it's different if you just go and just, you know what I'm saying? Like, Queens was always on some smooth, cool mode. Cool shit, like you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. LL Cool J was bumping crazy, so niggas was rapping for the bitches. Everybody wanted to be cool, 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 cool. Like, but like Brooklyn was like gritty, grimy, like talk your shit, nigga. We walking through the mud with you, type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we just we just had some somebody on from Brooklyn too, Rusty Jukes. Right? Okay. Yeah, Rusty Jukes. You know, yeah, you know him. Actually, uh, I'm not familiar with them. To be honest with you. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Um, zombies. Slap but zombies for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, most definitely. Shout out to Flatbush Zombies, man. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! I I listen to some of they shit, man. I know they got one with Tech, but we had Tech on the show. Shout out to Tech, man. Like, oh, and they very dope. 
And they love wrestling. Yeah. We love wrestling too. We had Jake the Snake. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's how we do it. Hey, hey, I had a whole I had a whole wrestling scheme in that it depends song that about that we just recently dropped. Uh, oh yeah, really? Yeah. Yeah, the second oh. verse was just all like it was it was a whole wrestling scheme. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah, I can't wait to hear this. Yeah. I, as soon as I say, as soon as I said uh uh um I said, flick, flick, nigga, we lit. Chair folded up. It's in here. Shawn Michaels on the kicks. Like, I was I was really, like, yeah. bar for bar going with that whole scheme. So, like, definitely check that out. 